guys. So we're out here at Navarre Pier. Except you notice it's nighttime. I heard there's been a little bit of a squid bite going on. I got my squid rig ready all tied up. Um, I'm pretty excited. I haven't done squid fishing in a while. I mean, quite a long time. So uh, let's get into it and see what's going on. All right, so just made it out here on the pier. Looks like it's low tide. So that tells me that the squid are gonna probably be more towards the end of the pier. So it's hard to see right now, but I got my squid rig tied on. So. Alright guys, we're back at the flay table. It's pretty simple. Here's the squid we caught. Pretty awesome. I'll just show you how to clean them real quick. And then we're going to get ready to fry them. So the best way to do these squid is that you literally take one like that. Take your knife. What I like to do is literally like cut upward. Get up here so you can see a little better. Just cut out like that. And then when you pull your head, all that crap will come out just like that. And then continue, you can run your finger and just push it all the way up like that, like so. And then you'll feel the hard cartilage. Take that. Out. If you can grab it, sometimes they're sticky. Sometimes they stick. There we go, got it that time. Pull it out like that. And then it's very important that you take the skin off and the flaps. So just... Take your sharp end of your knife like that and just 
just kind of wipe that skin off. Just like that. There you go. It doesn't really matter how you do this. There you go. And I just cut that off. And then there's your first white piece of meat right there. That's what you want. So just like that. And we're just going to repeat the process with all of these. So, pretty simple. Alright guys, so once you have all your strips done, I don't need a lot, so I only got a couple for just me tonight. Once you got them done, go ahead and just take some panko breadcrumbs, just like that. Something like that. These work really well. Take some of these, just put them in there about... I'd say about like that much. Easy peasy. Take your strips. Put them in there. You want to really cover these guys. I like to take my time. And that's what it should look like. Just like that. So just the same thing over and over again. And while I'm doing that, my oil is heating up. So it's pretty simple. Same thing, just like that. Perfect. And I'm going to do this for all these strips, and then we'll get back to the oil when I'm done. Strips that you want to eat. I put my thing right about over midi medium heat. I just put a little bit of this olive oil. Um, pretty simple. You don't need a lot. Let these. I have these. I love these these breadcrumbs personally, but you just put straight in, just like that. And it's very important that you, you keep these really dry after you bread them because they'll start popping like crazy because of, that's just how it is. So I'm going to do probably three at a time, just like that. And that's like perfect heat. And they'll, even though they're flat strips, they'll eventually curl. All right, so... After cooking all of our pieces, they ended up looking really cool and really good. They look just like this. If you look. Sometimes they'll curl up, sometimes they won't. Typically they'll curl up like that, and that's how I've always eaten them. I got a little bit of Thai chili sauce just like that. I mean, this, this is the best way I've always loved to do this. I mean, I just love fried calamari, and it's really good fresh, so here we go. Your piece right there going in. Mm. Hopefully, you guys can try this method yourself. But it's good. It's real good. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> kind of a shorter video, but whatever. Well, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.